Hi, welcome to another review on this beautiful sunny day in Ireland. So today I'm doing a review on the seventh and final book in the Soul Screamer series by Rachel Vincent. And that was called With All My Soul. So this book was out in about the first of April I think. And I got it pretty much when it came out, but it took me about two months before I actually read it. Because I was just so it's not in the mood to read it. Like I was just not pushed. The only reason I read it was because I felt like I had to, because it was the last book in the series, and I read all the other ones, and I liked them, you know, most of them. Um, but because the last book was just so like, I won't really go into all the faults. But I did a re review on the other books, and the links are down below if you want to see those. But um, anyway, so I read it about a month ago, maybe. And um, yeah, it was okay. Like I think I gave it four stars but I think I was just being nice because I loved the first three and the fifth book so much I think that probably like skewed my opinion a little bit I think it was a bit chaotic really because the author was like juggling three different like crises um you know th three different crises whatever you want to call it um and she didn't do it really successfully and they didn't really meld well so like the first thing was that um we had a stupid plan to bring down those three Hellions, the main three bad Hellions. And then we had a stupid whole pregnancy thing with Emma's sister. And then we have the big rescue attempt towards the end. And I just don't think they really went well together. And in between all that, Kaylee refuses to let the bad guys make her miss school. Like, come on, in between all this, she's like still wanting to go to school with people in all her friends and family's lives in peril, people are kidnapped, people are almost killed, she's like, no, I'm not going to let them make me miss school. Like, seriously, it was just ridiculous. Tracy and Emma, how they annoyed me in this book. Oh my god, it was infuriating. Um, I think my problem with the books I don't like, which is, you know, particularly the last two, the six and seven, were because there's too many characters. I loved the first three books when it was quite simple, with the amount of characters, and it was just a simpler story. And then when the author brings in all these big groups of friends, it just reminds me of some cheesy teen soap opera drama show. And it's not as, you know, as compelling and thrilling, it's just really cheap and cheesy. Yeah, and then there was this big kind of plan in the end that I felt was kind of overly complicated and there was like a time jump. And like the ending in one way I guess was kind of happy, but I, was, I just found it quite depressing. I won't explain why in the spoiler for your view, but it just had a very melancholy feel for me. Like there were good parts in it, like Kaylee and Todd were quite nice in it, and you know, it did get exciting now towards the end, I have to admit. And you know, some of the characters are likeable enough, but just overall I thought it was kind of disappointing and um, not not as good as the first three which were really just you know done well and didn't feel like just this excuse for teen drama and everyone pairs off in a couple of that type of irritating thing um, so I do think it's a disappointing end to the series which I, I, before like once at one time I thought was excellent the fifth book was amazing six one you know it's a bit cheesy but it was you know it was okay um but yeah i just think these characters make bad decisions and bad choices and love martyrdom and oh it's just you know some things are just kind of implausible and sh you know don't make sense but you know it's not the worst book out there but it just it could have been so much better so i think that's why i was disappointed um so yeah soul screamer series is finished now um i know a lot of people absolutely adore the last couple of books and love this series and will argue out why they love it and blah 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 but um I'll be honest like I just thought there was something lacking really um but yeah I, I still recommend books one to three and book five they were really good um book four and six and seven not as much but um yeah so this is a mixed series now since it's finished um but yeah that's my spoiler free review on with all my soul Okay, so now I'm going to do a bit of a spoiler review, so if you haven't read this book, I suggest you switch off now. Okay, so, yeah, the ending, as I said, was quite exciting, and I liked the whole sacrificing thing Kaylee was going to do. But as I said, her plan was just overly complicated. I was just like, what? This was just ridiculous. And she gave up, like, four years of her life to be tortured 
and I don't know, like the author really belittled it all because in the end she's like, oh I'm grand, I got that demon to suck out all my despair and torturous thoughts and I'm fine and happy now, let's hear about you, how's college? Like it was just so, I just didn't like that the author did that, like she just, you know, throw it, threw it away and um, just belittled everything and yeah, was that plan really necessary like, to, get, to do this torture thing for four years so a family could go in and I don't know, I feel like there's still bad guys after them. It was just, I didn't think the plan really was worth it. Um, and then I thought the ending was quite a little bit depressing because Kaylee and Todd were happy, grand. She got to see all her family and friends grow up and go away and be happy and she would just always be stuck as a teenager. And I did always think that maybe in the end there'd be some loophole and she'd, I don't know, come back to life or do something where she actually gets to have a life. But no, there wasn't. Um, Nash was finally less annoying in this book. It took a while because in the last week it was very irritating. But, you know, he finally kind of redeemed himself a little bit and um, it's not you know, as terrible by the end. Sabine, I still don't really like her. Like, I know the author was trying to go for this funny, witty, badass, kind of bitchy girl, but it wasn't endearing, it wasn't funny, it wasn't witty, it was just mean and horrible and I didn't really like her. Um, oh, Emma and her sister were just tear your hair out worthy like it was just they're told um Tracy will die they're told the baby will probably maybe die or the baby will grow up to rape and kill people and they're like no I have to protect this baby like when you're told there's absolutely no possible way this will turn out well it just doesn't make sense to want to go ahead with it and um so Kaylee and Todd are just willing to kind of like watch the child and wait till he rapes and will kill someone and then they'll kill him. It's just it was just a terrible plan and they're just so frustrating and their stubbornness to, to not accept reality and yeah, it didn't make sense to hope to keep the baby and I know it's obviously she wants a little bit but it's not really a baby, it's like a killer so uh, it probably will kill her and uh, I just yeah, it kinda of frustrated me. I know people get really mad about whole Kaylee, Kaylee's whole sacrifice thing as she's constantly playing the martyr and that is a bit true you know in some ways and I never liked Emma Emma was always an irritating character to me how she constantly had to be saved and whined and she brought in these whole teenage problems that were just so like ridiculously unimportant in this crazy stressful life or death world and I just didn't like her I never really liked the female friends who kind of protagonist anyway but she was just extra annoying um yeah and that's my review so there was some good part i did think hot i did think kaylee and todd were quite cute in this book um because i know in the last one they were so close to the line of being overly sticking and really lovey dovey but they were quite nice in this book um so yeah it's okay it wasn't great there was a lot of problems in there but i suppose some of them are kind of personal things with me um that's my review on all my soul and uh, I'd love to know what you think about this book or this series in general. Um, as I said, I loved some of the books and just didn't like other books. Um, so yeah, that's that. Another, another series done and dusted. And um, thank you very much for watching.